Casey Neistat recently opened up to Andrew Schultz on Flagrant Podcast talking about how he swindled CNN out of $25 million. And I want to draw some interesting conclusions to how he may have been connected to the complete failure of CNN+. Plus. We launched the product. It became like there was such synergy between the vlog and the product. And we had this wildly successful launch and like an unbelievable amount of people downloaded the app and loved it and used it. But ultimately, like Snapchat was better. And Snapchat, like this is right when Snapchat stories came out. When Snapchat stories came out, I'm like, well, this is like what we built, but better in every way. Mm. So he's referencing his app Beam or Beam Me, what it originally was called, um, and how it was kind of like the be real but in 2015 um but snapchat just crushed them like they're really this is so good and ours feels yeah, the cat ears man yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the, rainbow cat, mouth, the, the rainbow, rainbow mouth, mouth. Yeah, like, yeah, fuck, this is big. so much better than what we built yeah and you know we pivoted and we did a bunch of stuff we built a really strong community we built a really strong but ultimately like the app just did not succeed but the funny thing about the tech space is like just because your product fails doesn't mean you don't have something of value sucker at uh, CNN because his son was a fan of mine. Oh, cool. and I remember like at the time, so I was daily vlogging, like I had a rule, no meetings. And my agent called me. He's like, I have a meeting for you. And I was like, I can't afford a meeting. I have to make a video every day. Yeah. He's like, eh, this one you might want to take. It's the head of CNN. And I was like, okay. And I met with them and Jeff was like, how can we work together? And he's like a super cool guy. And I was like, oh, there's no way where like, I'm, I got my own thing and I'm bigger than you are. More people watch my vlogs than watch CNN. Like I'm happy there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, as I was like, you know what, though? Your technology sucks. I was like, CNN has bad tech. Your app is, like, late 2000s app. Like, your website looks like something that was, like, belongs on AOL. Like, it's yeah. terrible. I was like, there's an opportunity <laughs> there. And he handed me off to his people, who were very smart. And we got excited. And like, let's buy your company. And they weren't buying an app because the app was not successful. They're just buying the tech behind it. They were buying the tech behind, they are buying this amazing team that we had built, they are buying like yeah. access to Matt, my partner, buying access to me and yeah. my insight and like, we had all these ideas together and like that's how they bought my company for like a lot of money. Yeah, can we say how much? The no. number that was public was 25 million. Casey Neistat reveals kind of the, the inside ball that's going on there, which is your tech company doesn't just have the tech, it has the team that is creating the tech. So if you can create something of proof of concept, then you actually have value in your team in which people can then go acquire your company. Now, if you're not familiar, uh, so CNN acquired Beam for $25 million. They then created a YouTube channel. Um, this YouTube channel, let's see how it's still doing. The Beam News YouTube channel has 288,000 subscribers and the last upload was five years ago. Or no. Three years ago. It was three years ago. Will Netflix win the streaming wars? So it's fair to say it completely fell off. But now Beam, which CNN had hoped to fashion into an independently operated daily online news program, is effectively shutting down. On Thursday, CNN will announce that Neistat and the Beam co-founder Mac Hackett are leaving the company. Now, it also says that it's going to try to re they were trying to relocate the team members, although some of them will have to be fired. I wonder if Casey Neistat's tech guys, his people, were the ones that worked on the utter failure of CNN Plus. Now, if you're not familiar, C CNN Plus was CNN trying to get into the subscription service and trying to create an online platform. They, they dropped effectively $200, $300 million into this building of a platform. And within 10 days of opening it, shut it down. CNN tried to capture a creator's platform and turn it into a corporate news site to capture the young audience. And I would argue that's just not possible nowadays. You have these creators that are operating as independent entities, and that is why they are touching millions of people, not because they have the tech behind them. So while they sold the tech to CNN for 25 million, he also mentions they sold their team because that is probably the most valuable part, the team that access to Casey Neistat. The one thing they probably didn't think about was the fact that someone's work ethic, their ability to execute at a high level is highly dependent on whether they find their job important, valuable, and uh, fulfilling. So the same person, the same tech team, Casey Neistat at Beam, 
is going to be a completely different KC Neistat uh, consulting for CNN. And so I would imagine that's where you lose sort of that edge, which is the corporate model. The corporate model is losing the edge. The corporate model is let's sit in cubicles, let's be on our computers all day, let's have fluorescent lights that flicker and a break room, right? But efficiency, all in the name of efficiency or in the name of uh, the bottom line, right? And the missing link isn't that you it, you can't duplicate certain things at a mass scale. You can't duplicate things on a corporate level. There are just certain variables that people are connecting with nowadays that mean significantly more than a Fox News, a CNN can ever accomplish. And that's also how we see a Tucker Carlson gaining a large, large following as a one-man show on Fox News and then having tons of people waiting on his next move, sitting on his every word that he's speaking. I mean, his Twitter video that he put out, his announcement uh, after he got let go from Fox is almost at, I think it's at 50 or 60 million views. So we're, we're in a complete time shift where, you know, Kate, like in 2015, I think CNN thought they could buy a Casey Neistat and it, it could all work out, but it didn't. It utterly failed. And now we're in a time where Fox News fired their number one anchor and their and Tucker Carlson is chilling. Tucker Carlson has lots of options and hundreds and of millions of viewers. We don't want corporate we don't want the establishment. We want individuals. Now, I have never watched a Tucker Carlson video in my entire life, except for maybe uh, I, I watched the Elon Musk interview. But I would have to say, I probably haven't watched him because of two reasons, both of which are important. I don't know which one comes first. He always wears a suit and he's on Fox News. Now, it could be the other way around. It's because he's on Fox News and he wears a suit and it's just like super boring to me. But Fox News, respectfully, grandparents, is the thing my grandparents watch. And that's how they get their news. I get my news in other ways. And I just realized, similar to how I watch certain Daily Wire folks, I could probably end up watching Tucker Carlson if he was on the internet. If he just had a YouTube channel, Tucker Carlson, internet, with Daily Wire, whatever that looked like, I could end up watching that. But specifically because my Gen Z brain is hardwired to only participate with folks as individuals and not corporations. That's a weird thought. That's a weird thought. There's definitely some sort of lack of trust there that the Gen Z brain has with the establishment. But it's an interesting time we're in. And I just, I just thought this juxtaposition of Casey Neistat swindling CNN out of $25 million and still being a large creator and how, how it's all beautifully collapsing is kind of poetic. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment down below. I want to know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one. Subscribe. Peace.